I want the world to know, got to let it show. I'm coming, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I want the world to know, got to let it show. I'm coming, I'm coming Oops. out. <laughs> I can't sing too loud because I'm in the salon. Um, videotaping. So anyways, hi queens. I'm back. I'm here to stay. And today we are going to do two things. We're going to do a new hair reveal. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably have already seen my hairstyle. But for those of you who have not seen it, this is a new hair for me that I want to share with you. And here it is, the new hair reveal. Okay. All right, y'all. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. All right. All right. For those of you who know me, you know I never wear my hair this long. But I have been eyeballing this hair for a whole year, waiting for two things, two things, waiting for it to go on sale and then trying to see if it comes in a shorter length. Normally, if I do anything long, it'll be a 14, 16 blend. But this is a 24 inch and this is the Mexi box braid by Janet Collection. And I use seven packs. You can probably get away with six, but since I did it myself, I want to make sure I had enough coverage in the back. So I did seven, but you can probably get away with doing six. So I do like this hair. I have to get used to it, but you know, you can style it a few different ways. So I do like the hair. So this is the new hair, the Messy Box Braid by Janet Collection. Queens, I am super excited about this video because this client is a doctor and she is going to give some great tips on alopecia treatment for the scalp. So enjoy. And so we were talking about um, her seeing a dermatologist. And what were you saying as far as the dermatologist, what are they having you to do? Uh, well, um, initially we were doing uh, steroid injections, which we did uh, consistently for about a year. Then we, ha um, then she backed off for a little bit because you know steroids can be good, but sometimes it can also be a little bit uh, have some complications. So we backed off for a little bit, and we started doing the steroid treatments every three months. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, she has me on a compound hair drop that has to be compounded by a specialty pharmacy that I use every uh, day on the scalp. Mm -hmm. And she also um, had me on oral anti-inflammatories. So initially I was on a low dose doxycycline and I did that for about two, three years. Uh, but then recently she decided to take me off of that and we are now doing some natural anti-inflammatories like niacinamide and zinc. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to you know seeing a dermatologist, I try to keep my hair uh, and scalp, most importantly scalp, because you know scalp is considered skin. So the same way you take care of your skin, you should take care of your scalp. Right. So I try to, um, you know, keep it clean as much as possible, uh, wash it as often, you know, maybe at least every three or four weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and I do consider our uh, protective styles like crochet or braiding as well. But I, you know, I also try to take breaks in between, not do it consistently. Right. Also try to give my hair a break in between. Right, right. So. Right. And you have to give, and that's one thing, Queens, you have to give your hair a break in between your protective style. You have to have some kind of hair journey regimen um, that you're going by and be consistent with it in order to see growth. So she's been doing this for about, what, three years? Yeah, I've been doing it since 2018. So now, 2018. The re Right. So the reality is, you know, the dermatologist and myself, we spoke about it. And the main, main thing, you know, I, I knew that, you know, 
it's not going to grow back fully and I have accepted that but mm -hmm. the main thing is preventing progression preventing it go. from getting worse there you go so yeah. I've accept compared to what it was when I first started going to her it has improved mm -hmm. um, but I know it's not going to ever fully grow back and I, I have accepted that mm -hmm. um, but I just don't want it to get worse so I will continue going to the dermatologist doing my drops and my anti-inflammatories uh, and, you know, taking care of my scalp and my hair at the same time. Well, if you take care of your scalp, your hair will naturally, you know, be healthy. Yeah, so that's right. That's yeah. Right. Okay, Queen. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to finish trimming her and then I'm going to um, put her under a hydration machine, you know, shampoo her. And then I'm going to braid her down. And of course, she's going to need a net up in this portion right here. And then after that, we're going to put in her um, passion twist faux locks. I love to hear from you. Be blessed.